Hey friends, so this is going to be an update on my products I want to finish up in 2015. Kind of self-challenge. I finished up some things and um, just I'm going to talk about kind of my approach for the next maybe month. So in terms of things I finished up, I finished up the Dollar Tree face wash. I actually decluttered that. I realized I have so many cleansers and so many high-end cleansers that I'd rather use those and I put that on Ediv. I finished up the Garnier cleansing oil that was in my finished five by fall round two. I, oh, this, the L'Oreal glow oil that was on here, I used a quite a bit of it and just realized I really didn't like it. So that as well as one on Ediv. I finished the mini secret uh, deodorant as well as the dog sample size of the Moroccan hairspray by Mark Anthony that I love. I also finished the Kat Von D pencil um, I actually am just, I called it quits. It's terrible. These autograph eye pencils smudge, don't stay put. I cannot stand them, but I love Kat Von D, but that product's terrible. I finished the Vita Bath um, body wash, which it was the dreamy pink frosting and smells rotten. It was terrible. I finished the Dollar Tree green tea face wash. Actually, I didn't. I decluttered that as well and realized that I have so many masks and face washes that are a little bit nicer. Not saying that one wouldn't be good, but I just thought that it was time to uh, swap a few things, so I added that. And then I did finish the um, Victoria's Secret uh, Moonlight Dream Body Butter. This was in my Finish 5 by Fall round two as well. This is something I've had around for almost two years. Or like, so I was really happy to finish that. In terms of things that are left, I have the Soap and Glory Body Wash, which is the creamy one. I'll probably start using that soon. We're close to September. I have the Beautiful Day Body Wash. That's in my shower. I think I'm halfway done. As well as the Velvet Sugar Body Wash. I'm going to start using the Bosha Cleansing Oil now that I finished the Garnier one. Makeup, I want to finish the NYC Brow Kit, the brown color. I'm wearing it today. I wear it every day. The Wet n Wild Walking in Eggshells. Uh, the bottom color is almost gone, so I'm hoping in the next update that will be done. I want to finish the e.l.f. blush. That's going to be hard. It might be something I finish off later in the year. The Bare Minerals Foundation Mini, I think I've only worn once, so um, I need to start using that. But I started using a Garnier BB cream that I really enjoy on my skin, and I'm not a face makeup girl. So um, I really need to start using my Bare Minerals. The e.l.f. matte lip color in coral, I haven't worn it all. In fact, I don't even have it in my makeup bag, and I'm going to take that off my list uh, just because I just know I'm not going to use it. In the next update, I most likely will uh, have add items, but I really just want to focus on the ones that are in here. Um, I'm taking the Philosophy Cinnamon Buns off and MAC Pink Poodle Mini. Um, I don't like the pink poodle on me and I am swapping it. I sanitized it. And the Philosophy Cinnamon Buns, I just know I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to be starting it pr pretty soon. I've been waiting till like fall time. But I know I'm not going to finish it so it shouldn't be on this list. I have the Tarte Bronzing Serum which I haven't started using yet but I'm going to another product that I know I want to use. Um, probably September to keep up the color on my face. The simple face washes in my shower right now, that should be done in my next empties, as well as the simple travel size makeup wipes. God, I just got itchy. The Ava NYC Dry Shampoo. I'm almost done with my Keratin Suave one that I've been using for months, so I will switch to that mini, and I definitely uh, may not have that done next update, but maybe, definitely by the end of the year. I also have the Garnier Mini Shampoo. I haven't used that yet. I'm loving my Suave. I just posted a video about smoothing hair in Suave Hair Care, so if you haven't watched that, you should definitely check it out. And last is the Neutrogena Body Oil, which is another thing I kind of wanted to wait till it was like fall or September. So I'm doing really well, I feel like. Um, my last update, I had finished... 17 products. In this update, I finished, I think, 10, and I repurposed three. So that's 13. Not bad. So I have one, two, three. Well, I'm in the middle of one, two, three, four, really four. So I pretty much would have, if I would have waited to film this, God, my nose is itchy. <laughs> Uh, I would have been at the same spot I was in the last time, so I'm really proud of myself. But I do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 items left. Like I said, probably four of them for sure will be done soon. So 
Uh, I need to start working on the other ones. I need to really focus on those makeup items, uh, the brow, the blush, and the foundation. Next update, I will add some things. I just want to see kind of what I work through and uh, what I want to commit to finishing. We only have about four months left of the year, so I'm really excited about all of the work that I've done. I have finished 700 and what is it? 15, 715 empties this year. So that's an accomplishment in itself. Uh, but I like documenting this product, this project, because I think it's a good example of what you can do for yourself, whether you are a YouTuber or not. Uh, we need to use our things and I'm really enjoying using them because I'm committing to being uh, what accountable to you guys so thank you so much for watching all the support i wish you all the luck in your projects once again if you're doing a project pan or any video like this please comment it so i can watch it as well as other people um, there are quite a people few people that follow me for my projects so i'm sure they would love to watch yours too bye